Well, uh, again, thanks for having me. Sure. Um, I was born in South Bend, Indiana, uh, and I, I think uh, some of my uh, Catholic uh, it's moments. A bit, I was going to say it's yeah. a little bit of a Catholic environment. <laughs> yeah, <there>. yeah. <laughs> it, it started uh, it started early, and uh, I was born in St. Joseph Medical Center there in uh, there in South Bend, okay. and I was born into. Um, very uh, strong evangelical uh, Protestant family. Uh, my dad at the time was a, a music professor at a at a small Protestant uh, school, pro Protestant uh, college. My mom a homemaker, and um, so from very early on, um, I was uh, you know introduced to um, Christianity, the, the things of, of Christ, and um, in a very uh, sturdy evangelical way. Um, my uh, grandparents were always really active. Um, they were in the Grace Brethren uh, Church. Okay. My my grandfather was a, a lay preacher, and uh, and just a very active layman. And uh, on my mom's side, my uh, my grandmother and my grandfather had come into uh, Christianity through by way of the Anglican Church, and then ended up becoming part of the Christian Missionary Alliance. So, so I had a a, a lot of. Um, Benefits right off the right off the bat with a with a Christian home. I was going to say it sounds like on the one hand a real solid uh, Protestant Christian environment, yeah. but it also sounds like no specific denominational right. commitment. Right, right, pretty pretty much uh, just a broad evangelicalism, and uh, you know those. The, I, I think I heard uh, one time in a in a dialogue between an evangelical and a Catholic. I heard uh, evangelicals described as three things. They're uh, they're Bible people, they're gospel people, and they're Jesus people. And, and that really was the truth. I, yeah. I can't remember a time growing up where I didn't hear the importance of God's Word, uh, the importance of sharing the message of Christ with people, and of course, uh, just the importance of having a, a relationship with Jesus. And I, I was born in 73, and then shortly thereafter, my, my uh, dad uh, took another job and we moved to uh, Lincoln, Nebraska. I feel like we've done this tour of Big Ten states and Big 12 <laughs> states, but, um, but when I was five years old, um, was the first time I actually remember hearing what we might call like a salvation message, oh. and I know that there is the um, there's the tendency to, to you know stereotype about the fire and brimstone type of uh, type of preaching. I remember hearing a sermon on hell, but it really wasn't that kind of fire and brimstone. The, what was different about it was that um, it was just very measured and very sober. And I remember the preacher. It was an evening service, and I remember the preacher just kind of going point by point about the nature of hell. And, uh, and I remember even at five years old thinking uh, that, the, that the worst part about hell was that God wasn't there, that there was what we might say his real absence. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I have this memory very clearly of, of going home and just being very concerned about that. And I remember him saying, you know, the answer to this is to have a personal relationship with Christ. And I remember going home and just getting down on my knees, and I remember uh, at the time uh, my younger brother was really, really little, and my parents had painted his room to look like the Winnie, Winnie the Pooh forest, and uh, <laughs> and I, I just prayed, and I and I think it was a very genuine move toward God, and and uh, did the sinner's prayer, and um, and so I'm just very thankful from a very yeah. young age. I, I think God sort of awakened in me a. Um, a a desire to know him and and to really have a relationship with him, and um, I would say from that point on, uh, I was took. what you. It took, yeah. Um, <laughs> in many ways, in some ways, it didn't because I think I became sort of what you would consider sort of what evangelicals and Protestants might call like the Sunday school kid. Mm -hmm. You know, just I knew my Bible, I knew the answers, um, was a pretty decent kid. Um, Obviously, I didn't have much <laughs> thoughts when I was six or seven about Catholicism, but you know, I looking back, there, it's amazing to me how many little what I call Catholic moments there were, and one of the best moments for me, um, my mom actually told me this when I got older, but she said that when when I was you know six or seven, hadn't been a Christian for that long, been in Sunday school, but I have no recollection of why, what I did one day. Uh, why I might have done it, but uh, my parents were having an argument, as most parents do sometimes, <laughs> and uh, and she said that she noticed that you know I was kind of distraught by this, and and I walked into the kitchen, and she didn't know what I was doing, but they kept on arguing, and when I came back, I was carrying a, on a silver platter, I was carrying uh, bread and grape juice, and she said, "What are you doing?" And I said, well, I think it's important that you take communion. And I, I don't know if it's okay to be awed by yourself. 
<laughs> but, uh, but I was kind of awed that at that age, I, I yeah. must have had some sense that mm-hmm. the Lord's table or the, or the Eucharist was profoundly important and was important not just for reconciling people, but reconciling uh, yourself to, to God. And, and so that was an exciting thing for me to look back and go, wow, God, was that you? You know, eventually, you know, drawing me to the Catholic Church, even even back then. It might be good at this point to let the audience know because you were kind of eclectic's not the right word, but yeah. because you were uh, kind of non-denominational yet evangelical. Yeah. At, do you remember the celebration of the Lord's Supper? Yeah. At that yeah. point, it, where your family was a once in a month experience, once of a quarter, purely yeah. symbolic. Well, I knew we were going to an evangelical free church, um, and I and so if it if you know if the standard holds in this in this case, um, probably once a month, yeah. um, I would guess. So I have no, like I said, I have no recollection of why that would have set in because I, I doubt it was a regular every every right. Sunday thing. In fact, I would guess that it wasn't. Um, so perhaps it was just a special grace of 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 you know making me aware of the importance of that, but. Um, but but yeah. you had a neat thing. I mean, oh, very really, neat, the, yeah. The, the Holy Spirit yeah. it, it, at that young age helping you see that there's, there's an aspect of this that, yeah. that brings about forgiveness and reconciliation. And boy, this is really a powerful little yeah, message there definitely. for a young boy. Yeah. De-